Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Lassite. I'm a fifth year medical student at KDU and today we are going to talk about the entry criteria and also for all those students that have applied to study medicine at KDU. So Intech 43 is going to start in January. So the, uh, the application process closed down the 18th of July. Today is the 27th. They have released the name of all the students that have uh, been uh, they have applied to study medicine at KDU it's on their website so you guys can go there and have a look at the list and also the policy of admission is on the website they made everything very transparent for everyone to see so that every step of this selection process is transparent for everyone to see so and then we in this video we are going to talk about what's going to happen in the next few weeks and how they're going to be selecting these students so now let's have a look at some of the stats there are 513 students that have applied for the gc with the gce a levels and 40 london a level students so that makes a total of 553 students that have applied for this year for intake 43 starting in january now we know from the admission policy there are 150 places available to study medicine at KDU. From those, the first priority goes to the cadets and then the foreign day scholars and then the local uh, day scholars. So we know that for the local day scholars, there are 100 places. Out of the 100, if you see from the policy, it says that 10% of those, so 10 seats, will be made available for UGC um, approved scholarships. So that entails essentially that 90 seats are available for the local uh, day scholars that have applied out of the 553 applicants. Now let's make things a little bit more clearer according to the policy itself. Obviously I'm not part of the admission, pro admission office or anything so it's everything that I'm being mentioned in this video is from the eligibility criteria, the policy of admission that's available on the KDU website. So make sure to go there and see that for yourself as well in order to gain a little bit more knowledge of, on this selection process, okay? Now, uh, it says here, KDU policy for minimum shortlisting criteria, they call a local category. So that's what we are interested in right now because out of the 553, we want to know how many students are going to be pushed for the next stage of application. And it says here, Z score applicable for shortlisting will be decided upon the available vacancies for local day scholars category. Accordingly, the total number of applicants which shortlisted for interviews may be equal to the three times of the available vacancies for the same local day scholar category. However, only the applicants who possess a Z score of 1.4 or above will be shortlisted as per the four said criteria. Or, obtaining minimum of two Bs and a C for the London A-level examination or equivalent examination. So that means that since we are above 300, we have 515 students for the GC A level, they are going to be selecting the first 300. And um, so the other part of this, um, what this uh, paragraph is saying about, about the 1.4 Z score is not applicable this time around because we have more than 300 students and all of those students fall above the 1.4 so if you look at how many students have reached 1.4 we are looking at we are looking at 321 students so the first 300 of this will be selected unfortunately the other students will not be selected and and from the london a levels we know that there are 40 students so only the first ones with at least two b's and a c's will be selected but there's one more thing to take into consideration here, which is that students that have achieved a, um, the way this is going to work is there's 8.6 on the policy says the final aggregate score for civilian students 
will be calculated by looking at the A-level examination result, which counts up to 90% of the overall grade, and 10% that comes from sports and leadership achievements as per the UGC approved list of recognition and achievement. So there is a list with certain recognitions and achievements, and if you fall under those, um, then you'll be getting that uh, extra 10%. So that's how your overall uh, score is going to be given so based on those that score the first 300 students from the GCEA level students list and the London A level list will be selected so you can see the raw results right now from the Z score which is available on the website obviously the achievements sports achievements have not been included in that list so we don't know people that have achievements and people that don't have achievements but obviously people ranking at the very top of that first 300 in that list will be selected obviously because just purely based on the Z score but that gives a chance for people just below that list with maybe a 1.4 1.5 a chance for them to boost their grades and go further up the list okay so we don't know exactly how this is going to happen so obviously i'm not saying it's just an assumption um as i said i'm just i'm not part of the admission office so i can't say exactly what's going to be happening but these are obviously estimates based on the admission policy that is being given by kdu now what is the next stage then the next stage now we are just looking at the number of students that have uh, been that have applied to study medicine now we need to look at the number of students that are going to be selected and that's what we've been seeing so far now what is the first stage um, including so there are three tests that you will have to sit one is uh, English proficiency test followed by an IQ test or a general knowledge test and a psychometric assessment so you have to sit those three up, uh, up to you tests and those are also available on the KDU website right now so you guys can go download those papers and try those out for yourself and get a feeling of what this aptitude test entails and then you can go and find more sources outside uh, for you guys to practice so you'll get a feeling of what you have to do and then you can go outside find other resources and practice your way out in order to improve the chances of you scoring really well on this aptitude test so once you have passed this aptitude test a new list of candidates will be available on the KDU website and that will entail the next step of this admission process which includes an interview so in the interview there will be a panel of interviewees including the vice chancellor of KDU the dean of the faculty the registrar of KDU and there will be also invitee, invited members which include the Sri Lanka Medical Council and the University Grants Commission. So these people will be there to interview guys. So I've, we, when we were uh, allocated here at KDU, we didn't have the center process. So I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen during the interview, but make rest assured there might be some questions about like why study, why do you want to study medicine? Why did you decide to study medicine in KDU? and some questions basically regarding your interest to study medicine. So those will be assessed during the interview. So these are sort of questions that you guys can prepare answers for, right? And then obviously your eligibility to pay and things like that, certificates will be assessed during this interview as well. And then at the end of all these stages, then they'll be, they'll be releasing the final list of students that are going to be accepted to study medicine in KDU and there's obviously going to be uh, as I assume that there's going to be a hundred students with that there will be also a reserve of maybe 20 30 students in case the first hundred have been selected if they decided they don't want to study medicine anymore at KDU or if they have found elsewhere to go to study medicine then they'll be rejected from that list and people from the reserve will be taken to replace those students. So that's something that I've seen happening in the past. 
certain students that have been accepted to study medicine have changed their mind either because of their personal preference or their parents have decided that it's not the best thing for them to study medicine at KDU and they want to send them elsewhere, then those people within the reserve have taken those seats. So that's something that happens as well. So don't get uh, disarmed if you are falling in the reserve, you might still have a chance to get, get boosted up into and be selected to study medicine at KDU. So yeah, that's the entry criteria. That's, those are the stages that you will be facing if you, uh, be, you'll be selected for the first stage of um, examination, which will be the aptitude tests. So once you find out that you've been selected, make sure to download those papers. You can do that even now if you know that you're within the first 300 at least and you have a sports achievements and all of that, chances of you getting selected for the first stage are very high. So go there, have a look at the scores, uh, at the papers, the aptitude test, make sure to do those papers and then go outside and look for more papers and more resources that you can use to prepare for this aptitude test. I'll be doing a separate video where I'm going to go through these aptitude tests um, myself. So I'll answer them on, on the video to you guys so that you guys can get that, uh, that feeling of how this aptitude test should be done on the video itself, okay? So if you have any questions regarding the entry process, make sure to leave the questions on the section down below and I'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible and with that said make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video bye for now